deserve it. Blew a bag on it because he know I'm worth it. Maybelline. It's a lightweight bout between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Conor McGregor. The celebrities are out. The floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold, but Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon, but when Conor fights, I got to be in the first row behind <laughs> the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody want to show up. They flock to Vegas. They come in groups. They want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience the McGregor experience, you always have a story to tell, and that's why people show up. He's going to cash the check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no, right? This not. is about proving himself trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy. One, two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of the motivation. He takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155 pounds. And when you've done everything that Habib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Habib is. I know how much he loves to live in uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat a Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of, of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up at 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nibagomeda! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? All right, so the rematch is upon us. Khabib Nurmagomedov versus Conor McGregor. Got to think both sides might change some things up here in advance of the second. You have to make adjustments if you're going to be... Oh! Huge right hand! Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got to... First round is underway, no denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going up. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his turns. 
might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Nurmago Medov has got full mount now. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He's not paying that. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's trying for a submission here. to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Connects with a right. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. <laughs> to snapping his arm. Right. Sometimes it's better to live to fight another day, but hats off to this fighter on a great submission victory. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it, Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Habib the Eagle Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most. Bricks and 94 on the spot.